So as you guys know, technology has improved a lot over the years and nowadays you don't even need to put makeup in real life because you can simply put makeup on your phone and today I'm going to be testing out whether virtual makeup is better or real life makeup is better. It's not really a competition per se because you can actually do both. You can actually put makeup in real life and then still enhance it virtually, you know, which I guess most people do nowadays. If it's just a flat comparison like makeup on the phone versus makeup in real life, which will actually look better? And you're probably thinking, in what like crazy scenario would that ever happen? Like you're just lazing around at home with no makeup on and then like your crush texts you and then he's like, Hey babe, send me a selfie. Then you're like, oh shit, I have to go and put makeup on and like send the selfie to him. It's like, oh my god, that's gonna take me like 40 minutes. Or should I just, you know, not put any makeup, take a picture, put some virtual makeup on and maybe he will actually like it better. So let's get started. So this P2 app is just amazing because beyond just the normal stuff like eyeshadow or like eyeliner which is like so basic, you can actually put things on like contact lenses. If you don't have double eyelids, you can actually make double eyelids. It's like surgery. Problem with most makeup apps is that they tend to look a little bit artificial after you are done. But this one I think is really quite realistic. I'm gonna start now. Okay, um, you can see that there's a lot of other functions here but these are not um, strictly speaking makeup. You can actually adjust your acne you can like make your pupils bigger you can like brighten your eyes and adjust your dark eye rings and then you can even adjust your teeth make yourself taller make yourself skinnier all right now let's start with the fun we're gonna first put foundation on i have none right now at the moment so i'm gonna put this let me see wow oh my god it's super nice you can try all these like different skin tones including making yourself tan Wow, what the? I think the pink tone one looks better so I'm gonna do that Okay lah, too much, too much and it will look fake so I, I won't go too much Okay, how about just about 69% I really accidentally hit 69 Such a waste of time On like the phone is just like one step like the whole foundation is done but in real life you actually still have to put concealer which is like Egh. there's this like kind of viral thing that's going on where a lot of girls are like asking their boyfriends or like husbands to guess what the beauty blender is by just looking at a picture of the beauty blender and so I went to ask Mike what do you think this is he was like I don't know is it a birth control thingy I was like what <laughs> and then I laughed really loud and then he said, what, what, what is it? Is it like a makeup thing? Is it like a sponge? So I guess he got it right. Second time. Ah, so many steps for the perfect complexion. Cannot deal with it. Okay, loose powder. Okay, I'm finally done with my foundation. I think contouring is under features. Okay, let's do that. What's this? What happened? <gasps> oh, it's strobing. Oh my god, good, awesome. Wow, oh, this one got contour. You don't need to learn the contouring, man. Somebody will do it for you. Okay, so before and after. Not bad. I think this one I can beat the P2. Done with the face contour. Next, going to highlight. Aha! Check that out, P2. Better highlights than you! Okay, I'm done with the contour and highlight. Let me try this nose looking thing. So, see whether that works. 100% please. Uh, I guess that this is the best that they can do for nose contour. I don't like it that it doesn't start from your eyebrows, which I feel like over here you need that thing. So uh, maybe the app will improve on that. But so far, this is the best I can do for nose contour. Okay, la, let's set it as 100% <laughs> because more is more. There isn't a technology so far that you can use an app to kind of like contour the tip of your nose. Actually, you know what a computer can do better than me? 
A computer can just take out my head and remove it and put the head off at Ma Watson and you'll instantly be prettier than me. <laughs> Alright, so happy I contour my tip. Mm. You can also contour here. See, P2 don't have that option. Done with my nose contour. It just helps you draw your eyebrows and it draws it really really accurately where it's supposed to be and then you have varying shades of brown or black so you can choose up to your heart's desire how thick how black you want it to be yeah, i think something a bit thicker would be more my usual okay done i think i will do that and then i will first adjust the eyebrows i, I personally think that it's a little bit far apart so i will put it a bit closer let me see how that works. Okay, not bad. This one is going to be tough to beat because I think P2 did a very, very good job with the brows. Hmm. This brow pencil is a bit light. For eyebrows, like P2 definitely wins, man. It's so troublesome. Brush it cleaner. Okay. Let me try the different colors. Are you guys looking at this shit? Oh my god, it's amazing. Okay, show you guys. <gasps> See, it's so nice. It's like not uncomfortable, you know, because you don't have to actually put it on and it looks quite realistic. Purple color. Oh, it matches my hair. Okay, never mind. I'll go with this blue pair because I have a pair that looks like that, so I think it will be more realistic looking. Okay. Wow, contact lens, very nice. This is something that P2 definitely wins because contact lenses are uncomfortable as hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another reason why P2 will win this category is because I have dailies on and it will cost me like anything between two to four dollars for each pair. Done with my contact lenses. Let me see. Wow! This is one of my favourite functions. Asian girls like always complaining about their eyelids, right? So you can have all kinds of eyelids here. So let me do this. Okay. Okay, I like this one. And I want it like deep. Okay, so okay, like, maybe not 100%. Okay, done. And I will adjust it. So as you guys can see, I already have double eyelids. But I think something a little bit higher will look nicer. Okay, now it looks like I have parallel eyelids. What is this magic? You don't actually have to go through surgery to get double eyelids. You can just add it on P2. P2 will win this category as well because I don't like it that in real life you can kind of see the double eyelid sticker. Now I have very, very, very like, super thick double eyelids. Great. Take that P2. Wow, so easy, got a lot of colours, got red, got pink, got orange. Wow, 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 I look like I have a healthy flush, I love it. Okay, done. Done with blusher. Okay, done. Finish. Wow, nice, very complimentary, something a bit orangey. But I want something a little darker. How about this one? Not bad. Wow, this one very smoky. I love it. Oh no, no, no. This one is bad. Yeah, this light purple is terrible. Okay, let's try the green. No, not nice. Oh, eh. Oh, like my sun hole look. Okay, blue again. Let's try blue. Wow, nasty, nasty, nasty. Look like SIA in the 80s. The browns are not bad. Okay, I like this dark one. Okay, wait, wait. Let me try this. No, this one not nice. Because got some kind of like shiny thing on it. So it kind of just adjust it such that it fits your eyes perfectly. Alright, so for the P2 eyeshadow, I think it's just brown, like generic brown, which is quite boring. Mmm, very, very nice. Shimmer, 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 more, 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 more. So I think for eyeshadow, you can definitely beat P2 because you don't really have that much of a choice. And also, if you take a picture in real life, you can also like take a video and stuff. For P2, you can only take a picture and in video, you can actually see the design that you put for your 
you know, eyeshadow. So you can put like a cut crease, a, a glitter eyeliner, stuff like that. And um, he who doesn't really have that option. How nice if we can just put like eyeshadow in real life and then just like put a dowel for the intensity. Like, turn it up instead of actually having to put more. I think this like makeup style kind of looks like my Kylie makeup. And if you haven't seen it, click on it, go watch it. It's funny. The P21 got a bit of a shimmer, so I have to put a bit of a shimmer. Instead of just sending him a selfie, you can send him a boomerang and go like... Wow, this one have a red like stain on it, I love it. But it does look a little bit fake, so I'm not going to go with that. I like this one, because it's thick. That's what she said. This one looks more dramatic, and I'm going to try to adjust it. Okay, let's adjust this one. Yo. This is the before, this is the after. Okay, like, but for some reason, I don't know why I look a bit caught eye in the pictures. Same as the P2 eyeliner. Back in like the 90s or something, there was a computer that finally beat the chess master in chess and it was a huge deal. There should be a competition for makeup that's on the computer and in real life also. Bonus of virtual will not stab yourself in the eye, so that's a pretty good bonus I think. And you won't draw eyeliner wrongly. What's this? This is like no eyelashes, go and die lah. Next option. Oh, okay, not too bad. How about this one? This one like got a lot of eyelashes. Wow, love it. How about this one? Mm, not bad, not bad. Oh my god, you know what? This actual pair of eyelashes that I'm looking at right now is like, you see, you see, the bottom lash. That's a dolly wing like product law. Okay, I want to go for like the most dramatic one. Wow, pink color lashes. How to compete with this? We win already, we win already. And then you can kind of adjust it. Okay, a bit more here. No hassle at all. I hate putting on eyelashes in real life because they don't stick. What you don't see, all of my other makeup videos where I'm putting eyelashes, usually I'm like, stick you stick! Like I'm really angry because it like flops out and then I'm like, fuck you, fuck you, I will kill your entire family and your baby eyelashes. Mm. Okay, done. This is perfect. I'm very, very pleased with the results so far. I hate putting on eyelashes. They never ever stick properly for me. It's so annoying. Okay, please don't move. Stop moving. Perfect. Good. Stay there, stay there. I think the Chinese version is like a war tan, like a silk worm is lying underneath your lower like eyelashes. Chinese or like Asian makeup, they like to have the eye bags a little bit so that you look like you are like really dull eyed and stuff. <gasps> I love it! Oh my god, what the f This is amazing. Really good. I really like it. Okay. Okay, this is before and after. Alright, done. Perfect. I think that actually the Wu or Chan thing is not that difficult to achieve in real life um, but it's just that like right now I think I use a pair of lower eyelashes that are a little bit dramatic and thick so the Wu or Chan cannot really be seen and any lower that I go would look kind of like old and ugly so I don't really want to go that low Phil cannot really see the Wu or Chan <laughs> Never mind Chiu can already so many colors, what to choose? Uh, yeah, not nice lah. I'm not a really huge fan of the lipstick function because I think that the lipstick doesn't seem to detect my real lips that well. So it's like staining my teeth with a little bit of a lipstick mark. Also, in real life, you can kind of like draw your lips a bit thicker, but with this app, I don't know whether it can actually be done. Maybe it can, but so far I'm making a mess out of my mouth. Imaginary crush, you will soon receive my photo. Just wait for a while. Zac Efron, I mean, Mike. 
I have tried very very hard to adjust the lipstick so that it won't stain my teeth because I guess there's some error with the detection for the lipstick I think the app is like failing quite miserably okay done all right I'm pretty confident that for lipstick I can win in real life. I think I'll try to use this purple color. I'm gonna try to use my fingers to kind of pat it down so that it's not so opaque. The good thing about like applying lipstick in real life is that you can kind of like adjust the shape of your mouth if you don't like it. Whereas for like apps that put lipstick on for you, it kind of just detects the shape of your lips and just goes with that. So you kind of like stuck with your original lip shape um, but for myself I prefer to have lips that are a little bit thicker at the in the middle so I can do that in real life cannot do that on an app done So we've come to the end of the challenge and I really really want to know what you guys think. If you feel that the virtual makeup has won, please leave a robot emoji. If you think that I won, please put the queen emoji. And of course, remember to check out all my other videos as well. And remember to hit like and hit subscribe. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye.